Hello there guys, uh, today I am working on the, these, these are called the suspension bushes. I've done the Zafira, if you check some of my videos you will see me changing one of these on the Zafira. Again I bought this from uh, General Traffic, uh, it was £26, I paid £35 for both. So. I'll be doing them okay so I'm going to start taking off the wheels both side this one and the, the driver's side which is this one okay I'm going to do it exactly the way I did the Zafira so lift the car remove the shocks remove the springs and then push them out then try to press them in okay right as you can see I've checked the car I've put the uh, the wheel here and this uh, timber to support the car uh, as I always say I prefer this than the uh, jack stands if you get the jack stands uh, they can slip right this is what we want to sort out here so we're gonna have to remove this remove that but before we do that because as you can see there's no space here we're gonna have to uh, remove the springs so that we can lower this down all right so we're going to remove the shock here both side i'm going to remove the other side so that when i remove the i remove them together at the same time and then after removing the springs while these are in i put back the shock i'll show you so let me just go to remove the wheel on the other side Right, I removed both wheels and I've suspended that one there, put the, the tire there as well, the wheel. Uh, those brake pads are starting to get thinner, but I think another two months can come out of this because the car will be soon going for MOT, so I'll do them then. And these, as you can see the shock here, it looks like it leaked oil, so that means the shock it's on his last leg. I'll sort that out later on. We have to remove the shock absorbers. You see, this one is still okay. It doesn't look like it leaked any oil, but I'll change both of them just before MOT. All right, so now we have to remove uh, this, and I've started uh, removing it anyway. There's a bolt that holds the the shock absorber we remove it so that we can remove the remove the spring so let me just remove them this side and on the other side right as you can see here i have already removed the spring on this side and on the other side here there's two springs all right so now and i've also put back the bolts for the for the shock absorber to hold the suspension as I am removing these. I hope this is going to be easier than a Zafira. Uh, I just want to remove these, jack this metal part, this beam here, remove the bolt that goes across, then hopefully this will go down a bit so that I can start chiseling these out okay so that's the plan anyway uh, this panel here is 16 okay 16 for removing these uh, these bolts here that holds the shock absorber so 16 there are only two sockets or spanners you need here just this one all right and that one only two and this one is number let's see it's number 18 so 16 and 18 the suspension comes out <laughs> it is that easy so sometimes citroen makes things easy and this is one of the things that are easy only two spanners or or sockets that that then that's it all right so let me just remove this and on the other side as well. I've put the shock absorber on this side and on the other side. So 
so that it holds this suspension frame here okay right this is the bolt that holds the bush and the, this is the nut all right so they they're out so i'm going to do the other side remove the thing and then hopefully this will come down a little bit i have a jack in there as you can see it's holding the suspension here as i am removing this so after i remove the one on the other side i'll remove the jack and i hope this will start swinging a little bit lower i hope i'll be able to do without removing this cover that i just don't know what it is for okay if i can if you can just sit on top of this cover get it removed and put another one pull it job done so i'm going to do the other side right this is the other side well just as i thought that everything is going smooth and nice you see this here that's the diesel tank now the bolt that runs through this bush coming out here as you can see over there this is the bolt here it is touching the tank so it wouldn't come out there as you can see there it is touching it will not come out let me see if you can maybe this way you'll be able to see yeah as you can see there that's the one there is touching the tank so it's not going it's not going to go out because the tank is on its way so i think here i have to remove these bolts this one this one and there is another two on the other side they hold this bracket then the whole thing with the bracket uh, will come down then i can remove that bolt all right so i'm gonna remove this and see if it will come off and uh, take this as you can see these were all already touching the on the other side it was touching the housing so it was really really ripped off so that's the idea let me just take this out and see what happens right now on this side i removed the whole bracket as you can see here so that we can uh, we can push this down and get rid of that uh, remove that bolt on the other side there so it's uh, as you can see it can it swings back and forth and it affects this bolt uh, just came out there it is and the bracket came off brilliant so we're putting it there and then uh, where is its nut we will find it after so this is the bracket goes this way no no it doesn't go this way it goes this way all right it goes this way now there are two types of bolts here we have these these are not 12 and they're not 13 as well they are this socket okay sometimes manufacturers will make a you know a sockets that are a bit funny like this one I you put 13 you're gonna damage the the corners and you round the bolt you try to put to use 12 it's not going to work now these are the shortest ones the ones that are next to the wheel the ones that are to the front to the door they are much longer and they are socket number here again five slash eight all right this socket five slash eight it fits perfectly if you put 16 it is uh, going to damage corners if you put 15 doesn't fit now this one has this little tongue kind of thing here i don't know what it is on my new ones they snow they don't have this thing okay they're exactly the same except that they don't have this Okay, so we will see. We'll see what 
what this is all about oh just make a mark and then uh, so that uh, i can try to get as close as possible to this uh, shape or you know the way it's facing or maybe make a mark here so that this triangle goes up this way okay because you have to make marks on this if you put this triangle the other way around you see it is standing like that you shouldn't put it sitting like that it has to be exactly the way it is so i think i should make a mark here so that i can get it as close as possible maybe it doesn't matter but i think uh, but here as well it doesn't show anything it doesn't hook on anything but just for for safety reasons i will just make a mark and make sure that this triangle whatever shape this is it goes right like that okay all right i'm gonna start taking them out now right guys uh, i've removed this this doesn't uh, look like the one in the zafira in the zafira the surrounding is made of aluminium so when you put a screwdriver here it bends this is plastic so you put a screwdriver here you remove the plastic goes back to where it was so what you do is what i did is i got one of these and i started drilling where these rubbers are started drilling so you weaken it when you drill these and then you hit it with a hammer with a hammer like that you hit it start moving and then finally you push it out okay so that's how it is now i made a mark here on top so that i align this part here this part here with that mark on the new one because as you can see this one has this little lips or whatever you want to call them here but the new one i have doesn't have them look it doesn't have but at the back here that mark there the mark i made here i'll line up with this part here so that it it goes almost the same as this one was all right so to cut to i wasted a lot of time chiseling and hammering it took me forever two seconds get a drill okay here these rubbers here they're the ones that i holding the whole thing that that's very strong drill them these you drill them this thing weakens you hit it with the hammer just two times it falls off this should take only two minutes on the other side i'm just gonna be flying which will be very easy because i now know from this side okay now i'm gonna put this now what i do is i use uh, one of these because i don't have a puller with this is very simple brilliant here i take this one you know, the one that will be almost the same size as that here i put it on this side because it's almost level here then put a screw a, 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 a bolt uh, one of these let me just show you one of these goes through all the way to the other side and then on this side because I'll be pulling on this side it will be this one here you can see it goes over so it will, is going to rest here you see so when I tie it's going to pull this thing in. now to make it easy I'm gonna apply grease and WD-42 so that it slides but before I do that I have to clean all this here okay I have to clean this okay sand it makes it uh, smooth then I'm not gonna I'm just gonna put it in leave it so that I do on the other side when I finish on the other side then I'm putting it back here okay so cleaning it's a bit rough all right there we are guys I'm pushing it in now pressing it uh, I've, I'm using this whole sauce as I did with the Zafira and as I said this one is much much easier than the Zafira because you can put them backwards like this and you just pull 
once this gets closer it will start touching this so i just take it out flip it the other way around and uh, just finish pushing it in okay so this is the side the other side i haven't removed the the old bush i showed you how to do it with a drill it's going to take me just two minutes to do then uh, i put the new one okay so but i'll show you i'll show you so that's that's how it is at the moment there you have it it's in the mark is there so this uh, is right where the mark is so that's good it's so i'm gonna just put the bracket and then go to do the other side the other side should be very easy straightforward okay let's go to the other side this is the other side there it is so i'm gonna just start you know drilling like so there you have it this is what we're gonna be doing now i want to say you see this pipe here that's a brake fluid pipe make sure that this doesn't get too tight okay you don't want the suspension to be hanging on this because uh, if this get broken then you're gonna get in serious trouble so i'm gonna get the jack and uh, lift this a little bit so that it doesn't get too tight you can remove the brackets here that holds it but i think that will be just creating more work this will take two minutes to take out okay let me just keep going right this side as well i have uh, removed the bracket because there wasn't too much space here so uh, there's a 10 mil nut that holds this cover you just move it down a little bit you don't have to remove all the screws so here is the the bush okay so again use a drill to just drill it off all this then push it outside get a new one in job done right as you can see this side is done as well i've pulled it all the way in as you can see that it's it's right at home just touched so i'm gonna take this out put the bracket put everything back in Put the wheels put the springs oh no 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 you put the bracket then put these in the long bolts these ones and then you remove the shocks you put the springs and then you put the shocks back on and then you put the wheels back in job is done okay so i'm gonna take off this put the bracket back on and uh, start doing just that okay right it's done now as you can see that's done the spring is in the shock is in so i'm just gonna put the wheels on this side it's done let's see to the other side the side as well is done bush in everything as you can see i said this shock is leaking oil it says the stains of oil here so that means i have to change the shocks now i'm not just going to change one i'll change four of them front and back but not now okay i'll make a separate video changing shock absorbers all right okay so i'm gonna put the wheels and that will be it after that let's put the wheels while i am underneath the car i always look for things that are making noise i check these like these now these don't know what their job is for but they look at that so i'm gonna put the cable tie so that they don't clunk uh, i don't like sounds okay so i'm gonna put the cable tie i have them here this thing they're cheap just put here no more clanking okay i'm gonna do on the other side as well everything is done now i don't have a wheel cap here because w one time i had a puncture and i took the car to the guys who changed tires they put this tire in they put the wheel cap but they didn't put it properly so it fell off that's how it is so i'm gonna just spray the wheel black i uh, don't need to spend money on wheel caps 
actually with the taxi emoji anyway if they are scratched or broken you fail emoji so you must as well leave it like this just paint it black i'll make a video about it when i'm doing it so everything is done it's finished the wheel the side is in just gonna clean all this mess and here as well done finish looks good so like i said i'm gonna remove them the, these wheel caps uh, i have alloy wheels on the other car but i don't think you know taxi worth alloy wheels you hit the cab all the time so but uh, that's how it is job done okay guys thank you very much bye